General Motors, Flint, Michigan is now a symbol of industrial decline, with high poverty and crime rates. And now, a new danger. It's Rosa. Room with the pipes. And now we're fighting for our lives and asking who can we trust. Problems not us, these politicians, they ain't trying to discuss. And then they wonder why we rarely vote, I'm keeping it real. If you're not from Flint, then you could never understand how we feel. Rachel Maddow broke the story now. Generally, I have not been doing stunts here, but, you know. <laughs> and uh, this used uh, a filter. Um, you know, the water around this table, uh, you know, was Flint water that was filtered and it just confirms uh, what we know scientifically which is uh, that uh, if you're using a filter if you're installing it uh, then Flint water at this point is drinkable uh, that does not I want to repeat negate the need for us to go ahead and replace some of these pipes because ultimately you want a system in which you don't have to put a filter on it in order to be assured that it's safe When did you guys stop drinking the water? Um, my mom, actually, she was hearing things about the water in 2014. And she was telling me, like, Jasmine, don't drink the water. I don't know if it's true or not. Me, still was just drinking water, drinking water, bathing in it, brushing my teeth. I thought it was OK. But I was wrong. And now I'm paying for it. Because. This is me, Chastity Hartwell. I was the former star point guard for the Penn State Nitty Lions. <laughs> Until I tore my ECL and injured my right knee. <laughs> now I'm back in Flint. to figure out my life. Hey, Mr. Governor. 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 You acting like a water clown. Why should I pay my water bill? You know the water brown. I see you washing up your babies and they look at clean. But then my house the water is dirty like a dirty dream. Ain't nothing like a smoke of the good old joint first thing in the morning. You know what? Just that good old OG birthday cake. I don't even know why you smoke that trash, man. Make your brain dead. Brain dead? Yeah. Boy, this shit will make your brain dance. I heard you was the man back here in Flint dancing. Can you bust a move for you me? Used to be the man? Yeah. You used to be the man? Yeah. And that's why I still got them news, boy. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know nothing about that, did you? I still got the move, boy. <laughs> you know what? Listen, bro, I'm tired. Go home, give me some rest. But don't forget. Remember now, we got work in the morning. Okay, well, for sure. For don't sure. forget. For sure, for sure, for sure. Be easy. By the way, when your brother getting out of jail? Listen, I was released over an hour ago, and Poppy's not answering her phone. They're getting ready to kick me out the lobby, and it's cold outside. I'm at the Genesee County Jail.
This is my father, the former chief of police of Flint. As you can see, he just got out of jail. Do you know we're picking him up after he served over a year in prison for something he didn't do? for 14 months. I can't believe you're still acting this way. You know, I'm still your father. You need to just get over it. That's the problem right there. You know what? I'm not driving. Pull, pull over. I don't care. Get your butt in the back seat. Walk far as I'm concerned. Daddy, just give her some time. Give her some time? What does that mean? I haven't done anything to her in the first damn place. You, you know, I've been eating this jail food. Just give me a coney or something. Just, let's just go. I need something to eat. Go. Pain in my butt. Des, you coming? Girl, no, I ain't going nowhere with him. Does she act like this all the time? No. Only when you're around. Push it. <laughs> Let me just say it. I just. Hold up. you forget you couldn't pay the note and you know I couldn't oh so uh you're her ride yeah they started a new carpooling program down at the department and you just happened to pull my wife's name out of the hat I mean yeah you could say that oh I mean by the way it's lieutenant Hutz. I stand corrected 
It's Lieutenant Potts. Oh, why we saw him, Mr. Ranger? And it's all shiny and everything. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, y'all to enjoy your lunch. And I will see you at home. <laughs> and congratulations again, Herr Mein Lieutenant. Tried so hard to get us out of this neighborhood and shit. Now we right back in this hellhole. Come on, Dad. It's not as bad as you're making it. You grew up in this neighborhood. Everybody knows you and loves you. Yeah, which ones? Hell, I locked up at least half these fools at least once or twice. So are you going to be living with the chief or what? Well, if you must know, Lieutenant, when they arrested my husband, your chief, the feds came in and they took everything of value. And a lot of that was mine, too, which I haven't gotten back. So the way I see it, my husband owes me. And I'm going to get it back, one way or the other. Especially with that fat pension he's got coming now that he's been released. But babe, couldn't you just move in with me? You know I got more than enough room. Yeah, maybe when you become captain or chief, I might think about yeah. it. <laughs> well, I got it. <laughs> I know you do, baby. I told you I wasn't messing with Phil no more. Destiny. Destiny. Look how long Daddy's hair got since he's been gone. What's that supposed to mean? Dad, can you let it, can you let it go, please? No, 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 I'm, I'm good, baby girl. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> you just do what you do. <laughs> Make me feel better. <laughs> sister after they condemned his home. Sad ain't so, sad ain't so. Big bro finally home. You ain't told no damn body, but you know the whole neighborhood is already talking about. Glad to see you home. God is good, bro. I've been praying for you, bro. Well, that, but you know something, bro? I still can't believe, bro. They actually locked you up. Bro. I gotta ask you one question. I gotta ask you one question. Was you a top or was you a bottom? Because you know they busted you down. They busted you down. I know they busted you down. Come on now, Uncle Glide. You know Dad is not in the mood for none of your clowning jokes. Yeah, for your information, I wasn't a bottom or a top. You forget I was chief of police in this town. And why you still have a key to my house anyway? This is Mama's house, remember? Actually, it's me and Destiny's house. Grandma left it to us. Hey, Destiny, how you doing, sweetie? My favorite. <laughs> You still working now, Detroit? Job in Detroit? You, you, no, no, you have a full scholarship at Kettering University in engineering. What the hell is going on around here? Don't you hear me talking to you? You gonna just, just gonna waltz in here, hug and kiss your uncle, and act like I'm not even here? You're not. She lost her scholarship and dropped out, Dad. Dropped out? Destiny. You better get your damn hands off me, old man. Don't forget, I'm still your father. I'll knock your ass out. Hey, hey, wait a minute. It's your daughter, man. Calm down, bro. It's your daughter. 
That's your daughter. Calm down. Come on back now. We spoke about bro. It's all right. So I wish you would have died in that jail. And you want to know what my job is down in Detroit, Daddy? I'm a stripper. I thought I told you to watch my family when I was gone. I did. Well, it seems like you did a terrible job. This house is in disarray. Nope. That has nothing to do with me, Danny. I did like you asked me to do. I told you not to call me that anymore. Well, I've been damned if I'm gonna call you Chief Hartmill since you're not the chief of the police department no more. Yeah, whatever. Set you up. Can you get me some water? Sure, bro. Bro, when you went to jail and the fed took all your shit, and your wife had to move in the house with your daughters, that's when everything went into this way. It has nothing at all to do with me. I did everything you asked me. I know you didn't just give me water from the faucet. You must be out your damn mind if you think I'm going to drink that shit. But you forget we in Flint and not Flint Township where them white folks had enough sense and power to keep that clean water flowing in from Detroit. Bro, ain't shit wrong with this water. I've been drinking this water all my life. You know, you black folks just paranoid. You think if the white folks wanted to kill us, they wouldn't do it by poisoning the water. They will just hire the police and shoot our black ass down the street like dogs. Oh, yeah, bro. That's exactly what they've been doing. Clyde, 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 you are as stupid as you have ever been. If the Flint River water corroded General Motors parts, how many different organs in your body have corroded? Bro, General Motors just trying to steal PR on PR man. my ass. The water in Flint still has a high concentration of lead in it, even now after four years, because many of us still have the same damn lead pipes. Oh, man, sometimes I wonder how you even my brother. I'm not. Remember, I'm your half-brother. Your dad was light bright, damn near white. My dad was dark skinned. And bro, you know the family never let me forget that shit. Yeah, I know, I know to you guys, I was nothing but a black, crusty ass security guard. Not a police officer like Big Bro here. But guess what? Your ass gonna be one, cause you and I both know your ass need a job. Hey, girl, do you think you can take me to work? Why don't you ask daddy? That's right. He don't got no damn car. I'm the only breadwinner in this house with transportation. Why do you have to get daddy so upset? Seriously, what's wrong now? He's not the reason mama died. You have to let that go. Don't you mention that man's name in the same breath as my mother's name. You're tripping. No, you are. Yes, he did kill mommy when he was out cheating with that whole poppy. He knew mommy was sick and he still did what he wanted to do. Now look, our mother died alone without her husband by her side. Destiny, that's not true and you know it. Mommy and Daddy broke up way before you even met Poppy. They were already having problems, so why do you keep blaming them? Look, maybe you should walk to work. I gotta pick up Kiki anyway. Daddy's little girl. Remember, you used to be one. I'm gonna say this just once. Chastity, I wouldn't give two shits if daddy took his gun and blew his damn head off. I wouldn't give a damn. You hear me? Now let's go. 
And don't you mention that man's name. Get your damn coat. Uh, what are you doing in here? What are you talking about, Bobby? I'm in our room. No, you are in my room. Don't you see all of my stuff? <laughs> you really gonna disgrace yourself and me by being a security guard? You know what? I'd prefer if you sleep on the couch until I decide if I want to do this again. Do what again? Look, I, I, I already told you I'm sorry about everything. Look, I, I'm going to eventually win this case and get all my assets back. The big house in Flint Township, the cars, and my big pension. Come on, baby, just be patient. It's, it's not just that, Daniel. I don't think I love you anymore. This whole thing with you getting locked up and going to jail, you know, it really opened my eyes. It made me realize maybe, maybe there is too big of an age gap between us. Maybe you need to find somebody older. And I need to find somebody younger for me. What in the hell are you talking about? Why are you messing around on me? Because now, all of a sudden, you're starting to act a certain way and, and even walking different. Don't you even worry about it. Because I don't want to sleep in here anyway. I'm going to go sleep out on the couch. So I can figure some stuff out, too. Bye. Dismissed. <laughs> you know what? I'm starting to smell a pig and it's smelling like lieutenant potts <laughs> bro you ain't tapped that yet what bro chill i got this three it's actually time for me to go. I think I'm gonna head on out so I don't miss that last bus. Bus? What do you mean? You trying to catch a bus this late at night? This is Flint, high on crime and high on lead poison. Tariq, my family grew up in this neighborhood. Ain't nobody gonna bother me. And besides, you forgot my father used to be the chief of police. I think you forgot that your father arrested a lot of people in this town. I'd better drop you off. Okay. Tariq, you know my house is a few houses down. I know. I just thought you might want to smoke and chill. I know you've been going through a lot. Well, you don't know how much pressure I had here. Y'all believe and I'm just like leave Flint and become the next Mateen Cleaves or Miles Bridges or somebody. I don't smoke. I, all right, all right. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe I need this. Just be careful. That's chronic. And you're inhaling it super fast. Boy, bye. I smoked hard as something this when I was a freshman at Penn State. This ain't nothing. All right, I told you so. Chastity. What? Can I tell you something? What are you doing? What do you think? I think I'm gonna get out. I need to go home. Oh, come on. What? Me. Don't worry, I'll give you some money when we're done. Let me go! Stop. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Give me one goddamn motherfucking reason I shouldn't blow your motherfucking brains out, huh? Daddy, don't. I just got one reason. Go inside, baby girl. Yes. 
I'm so glad you're home. I, I lost my job tonight, and I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Why is daddy on the couch and not upstairs with his young ass wife he's so in love with? Shh. Please don't wake daddy up, okay? It's too late and I don't feel like hearing you argue tonight. Can we, can we just come down here? Can you just talk, please? So what happened at your job? You just got back in town and got that job. Well, Tariq and his family was happy to have you there. That's the, the problem. Tariq was a little too happy, if you know what I mean. And plus, Daddy put his gun out on him. Didn't Kiki warn you about Tariq the Freak? He used to pay her for sex all the time. Okay, whatever. I'm just worried now if I won't find another job. I'm not trying to be a burden on you and Daddy, and especially not his wife, Poppy. Wait a minute. I thought you had two jobs. Don't you work for that Flint Water Crisis Organization? No, that's volunteer work. They don't pay me. <sighs> this ought to hold you for a while. Norm, I wouldn't take this, okay? Oh, wait, 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 Dad's pension's frozen and his bank account's tied up. I just have a lot of credit card bills to pay. So, so just, just this one time. That's, that's it. That's it. Don't worry. Good night, girl. Thank you. I'll see you in the morning. Yo, Danny, man, wake your ass up. Why are you here sleeping on the couch? You can't sleep. This is my bed, man. Oh, what you mean, your bed? Oh, now you living here, too? Yes. Why aren't you sleeping in the front room on the couch or in the bed with your damn wife? Yes, I live here because they condemned my house, talking about my damn water contaminated. Contaminated? Man, we've been telling you that house was contaminated. Them pipes been bad. That's why your wife left you, remember? Because you wouldn't buy a better house in a better neighborhood. No, nah, you rather live in that rat hole you call a home. Man, you just a fool. Now, here you go with the bullshit. Bro, my wife left me because she was a hoe. You have to call her that? You forgot you have nieces living here? So get up and get dressed. Go over Coney Island and get a couple of sandwiches and some coffee. Oh, nah, I know I must be dreaming. I know you ain't about to light up that shit in my face in my house. You must be out your damn mind. I guess you forgot who I am. You mean who you was? Bro, you ain't the chief no damn mo. You ain't even the police on foot patrol. You might as well take a puff with this shit. And besides, they just made this shit legal in the state of Michigan. Well, hurry up. I'm getting ready, man. I'm going to the car. <laughs> what? Yo, car? I guess you really forgot. Last time I looked, you were riding a damn bicycle around the city. <laughs> Shit. Your daughter Destiny gave me a set of keys to her car. I said I could drive it anytime I want to, as long as I have it back before she went to work. You mean to tell me that you condone my daughter, your niece, taking her clothes off for of strangers in some damn strip club? Man, I can't even believe you, my damn brother. Shame on you. Shame on me? No, hell no, nah, bro. Shame on you. You the one went to jail and left your doors behind to fend for them damn oh, self. Man. Now look at you. You ain't even got a house or a car and probably ain't even a goddamn wife, bro. You know I'm innocent. I didn't take that drug raid money. Somebody else did. That's not even my M.O., and you know that. Well, anyway, bro, all I know, just hurry up and put your ass in the security guard uniform so your ass not late. Man, what time is it? Man, it's, it's dark outside, man. Bro, by the time you get there, it'll be daylight. Good morning. What can I get you, gentlemen? Damn, you look good this morning. What you say about an old man like me take you out to show you a good time on the town? Mm -hmm. Be your sugar daddy. I know you need a sugar daddy, girl. Don't cheat yourself when you can treat yourself, neighbor. <laughs> Come on, man. 
That girl is half your age. Really? And you the one to talk? You forgot who Pop is? Your wife? We'll have uh, two cups of coffee and two breakfast sandwiches. OK, give me just a second, OK? Ooh. Come on, baby, we gotta go. How much are you, baby? Nothing, it's on the house. On the house? Yes. You don't give Flint police officers free food, but you give security guards free food. Look, I'm just doing what the owner told me to do. The owner? The owner. Out of all the Coney Islands in this city, you got to bring me to this one? Bruh, I ain't shit wrong with this place. What's wrong with this place? Oh, man. Just forget about it. I'll be outside, man. Hey, babe, don't mind my bro. My bro crazy. You know my bro's crazy. You know, bro, I'm not gonna be staying at mama's much longer. I don't give a damn what they say about my house. Contaminated or not. Bro, I've been drinking that water for 25 years, bro. And ain't shit wrong with me. <coughs> <coughs> damn, that shit hurt. Are you sure? It sound like you coughing up lead right now. Nah, bro. I, I think Pookie done sold me some bad shit. That's what that is. Yo, listen, Danny, Chief, or whatever you want me to call these days. I went through a lot of shit and pulled a lot of strings to get you this job under the table, if you know what I mean, even though you're a felon. So don't act like you better than everybody else. Go in there and do your shit now. Don't act like you better than everybody because you used to be the real pope ho now. Now, first of all, I'm not a felon. My conviction was overturned. I just need some time before my name is completely clear. Then I can get back on my feet. Well, just do what you got to do what you're supposed to do then. Yes, sir. Good morning, girl. What you doing? Just looking for jobs. Daddy and his bitch Poppy leave? Yes. Ain't nobody here but me and you. Good, because I ain't want to see her face or his. Look, Chastity, I was thinking last night. You said you were thinking? Ooh, that's about to be a good one. Sure. And I was joking. What, what were you going to say? I was thinking that maybe you should come work with us at the club in Detroit. What? No. <laughs> Daddy would kill me if I became a stripper. Like, you're crazy. I'm not even the type to just show my body to anybody. That's not even me. Me either. And I didn't mean it like that. I am sorry. Will you relax, Chastity? I'm not asking you to be a stripper. There's other jobs at the club other than dancing. There's, there's bartenders, there's hostesses, there's shot girls. I could probably get you a job as a shot girl since you don't have no bartending experience. Will you just think about it before you say no? OK? Good morning, ladies. I see you guys are finally up. You mean to tell me you guys have never heard your father say the early bird gets the worm and nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream? Yes, Uncle Clyde. We heard Daddy tell us that all our lives. We definitely don't need to be hearing it from you. Whatever, smart ass. <laughs> and thanks, anyway, for letting me use the car to drop your dad off. I really appreciate that. Uncle Clyde, I let you use that car for emergencies, not to be doing anything for that man. First of all, that man is your father, Destiny, and you need to chill with that shit. Because at the end of the day, that man loves you very much, and I know that. Each and every time you disrespect him like that, you're throwing dots in his heart, and I can feel it. So please forgive your dad for whatever you think he did, and for love it for him, for crying out loud. Is that too much? Uncle, can we just leave it alone? I'm tired of hearing that. I don't care if he is my daddy. I don't have to love him. Let me get a smoke. My mama died loving that man while he was lusting after that woman, Poppy. Wait a minute, Destiny. Get that right. Your mother told your dad to find him someone else because she knew she wasn't going to be living long. Have you forgotten? 
Your mother was stage four, stage four in terminal cancer. Cancer killed your mom, not your dad. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever, uncle. Blah, blah. I don't want to hear it. OK? I don't want to hear it. Can you just leave it alone? She needs more time. Can you just give her more time? Time? She took off with my goddamn joint. That's the name. Oh my God. Nice meeting you. I'm coming from the Water Crisis Foundation. Mrs. Menifee said you may have some extra water here. Is that for you or for the foundation? Oh, it's for me, ma'am. It's for my family. Okay. James, can you get this young lady some water? Is it okay if I get two? We're still showering with the bottled water. They still haven't changed our pipes yet on Witherby Street. Oh, sure, honey. James, can you, not that water, get the, Get the good stuff. Help her out to the car. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. You're welcome. And, and thank you. My car's right up front. come down to the center and volunteer for the Water Foundation. We could definitely use your knowledge and expertise about the city of Flint. You're like a walking historian. <clears throat> Baby, listen. Uncle Clyde done told you before. I ain't volunteering at no damn Water Crisis Foundation. Volunteering my money or my time to none of them damn crooks down there at City Hall. Uncle Clyde already told you before. Ain't no damn Water Crisis. <coughs> Uncle, do you hear how delusional you sound? There are a lot of sick people who drink that water. There are kids that got exposed to lead from that water. Oh, hush, hush, babe. Black folks always trying to blame the government for our damn problems. And with good reason. You ain't even been feeling well yourself. You keep coughing. It's as good as we they have me coughing all the time. And like I said, babe, I ain't volunteering, and I ain't drinking that damn bottle of water. <coughs> I'm gonna keep on drinking my damn fossil water. <clears throat> All right, Hopper Clyde, you do what you gotta do. I, I gotta go. I left my dad. <laughs> Be easy. <clears throat> <clears throat> hey, Chief. Hey, Casey. I see you still living in the neighborhood. You didn't lock me up too many times. I can't go nowhere. Chief?
You remember what I'm talking about? Yeah. Back in the days, man. Yeah. For real. Hey, man, let's, 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 let's move from right here, man. Yeah, I'm gone. We slide down on him. Let's go, man. There's my car out here, man. Let's go around. All right. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you doing home so early? Did you come out for lunch or something? No, oh, baby girl. I quit. Good. I ain't seen you in this uniform anyway, especially since you was a real police. But look, now you can come volunteer with me since you don't have a job and I don't have a job. What you mean you ain't got no job? Daddy, what? You forgot you beat up my boss already? Oh, yeah, that's right. Damn, I forgot. See, see, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. what I do now, Dad? So, last night was not my fault. We were in the car chilling, and then things like escalated it's not out of nowhere. No, 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 baby girl. That's not what I want to talk to you about. It is about your choices. What do you mean? What I mean is, you have a bachelor's degree from Penn State University, and now you're working at a Damn Coney Island restaurant. You mean was working. Okay. Okay. What I'm saying is, have you considered continuing your education? I, no, no, I, no, 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 no. I know people over at Kettering University right here on the Flint campus. I think you should have... This is okay, babe. It's okay. I, no, baby, it's, it's okay. Just listen to daddy. Please, just listen to daddy just one minute, baby. I think you should apply for that MBA program. Baby. Baby, I, I know... I, I, I know it's not the WNBA. No, I know. no, it's not that. It's not. I'm so sorry. I got a question for you. Hmm. How does Mrs. Poppy Pot sound to you? <laughs> it sounds like a home shopping network, child. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> Stub right up. Get your Poppy Pots. Let me take it. Let me take it. <laughs> Yes, Daniel, I'm at work. Why you keep calling my phone like a fucking psycho? Hold on, wait a minute. Who the hell you think you talking to? Puppy, you leave out of here early in the damn morning, and now it's 10 o'clock at night, and you expect me to believe that you're still at work? Bitch, please. Bitch? Oh, so now you calling your wife a bitch? You know what? Prison has really changed your ass, Daniel, and I don't like it. And I'm expecting an apology when I get home, or I might not even come home. You know. I'm sorry. You're right. I didn't mean to call you a bitch. It's just that, Poppy, I was an investigative detective for 25 years before I became chief of police. Right now, I can hear you in the bathroom. And not the one at the department. It has the sound of a cheap-ass motel somewhere off of Interstate 96. Yeah. You know, and you're probably sitting on the toilet. I can smell your ass from here. So from this point on, 
You're sleeping on the couch and I'm sleeping in the bed. Next time you want to give Pot some of my pussy, have him take you to a five-star hotel. Hello? Hello? Wait all day to call me and now he don't want to talk. You know what? I'm done with his old tired ass anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. He loves my sexy walk. Gotta love my sexy walk. He loves my sexy walk. Gotta love my sexy walk. He loves my sexy walk. Gotta love my sexy walk. I want his confidence and I can't be stopped. Make moves like Ad Hoc. Watch me like a hawk. Take notes, no pen or paper. You can use some chalk. You can't put me down. I rise above. I hold the lock. Oh, she did it again. Got you in a state of shock. I keep my hair done. Topic on sharp talk. Don't try to test me. Unleash the mind creeps. They gon' need a sedative for their relief. I stand by my words. I'm not full of talk. Now watch me walk. He loves my sex to walk. Gotta love my sex to walk. He loves my sex to walk. Gotta love my sex to walk. He loves my sex to walk. Gotta love my sex to walk. I want with confidence and I can't be stopped. My femininity encompasses fashion. My look is vintage. It's a legendary classic. Hair blonde and bold with a touch of gold. Stop the first Fuck. I thought he was sleeping on the couch, Daniel. Are you serious? You just gonna come in here and hit me with a pillow mm -hmm. after you been out all night and coming in here smelling like liquor and weed? I thought I told you you sleeping your monkey ass out on the couch. Fine. Stay. I'm leaving. Watch your old ass no more no way. Hey, 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 hey. You're not going nowhere. You're mine. You're my wife. You don't own me. You don't own me. Get it through your old ass head. I don't want you no more. I'm leaving, and I ain't never coming back. <laughs> How come all of a sudden you keep calling me old? You knew this age back when you pursued this old ass. Oh, yeah. That's right. I was the chief of police, making over $100,000 a year, living in a big, fancy house, driving an expensive car and a big, fat pension. So now, I'm just old. So now I don't. Now I'm just old, huh? Right. Right. <laughs> right. You know what? <laughs> you need to get the hell out of here. Because you almost made me forget. A real man doesn't take what doesn't belong to him. Me and my mother has given you all our money, Mr. Banks. We want to know what happened. Look, I told your mother and the rest of the Vernon Greens estate that I am a criminal attorney first. Hey, look, I'm sorry. Really, I am. I'm going to help your family, pro bono, until I can find a good entertainment lawyer that specializes in the type of litigation for your father's royalties. I'm going to take care of everything. I don't want you to worry about a thing. Just relax. I appreciate it. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Daddy, mm -hmm. your 2 o'clock Daniel Hartwell is here. Hartwell? The chief? Yes, he's in the reception area. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, Elijah, will you excuse me a minute, please? Man, if you don't get off that phone and give your lawyer and that's deputy chief a big hug, daddy boy, we can... <laughs> and what I tell you about calling me that? It's chief to you. And get your hand off me with that tutti fruity stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, chief, and you always be my chief. Man, give me a hug. Man, it's so good to see you. Yeah, well, it's good to see you, too. And you will always be my deputy chief. That's right. Hey, you know, I got somebody in the office I want you to meet. Oh, no, look here. I'm not in the mood for meeting people right now. I just want to talk about my case. Yeah, it's just going to take a minute. Come on in the back of the office. Oh, it's just going to take a minute. Get your coat and come on, man. <laughs> man, you certainly are looking good. Come on in the back. Hey, Elijah, I got someone here I want you to meet. Former chief of the Flint Police Department, 
Chief Daniel Hartwell, and by its boss. Oh, Karaka. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Miss Norma. Yeah, it's been four years since the Michigan crisis. They didn't lock up the ex-governor, but they locked up my boss instead. Yeah, that's right. And now he's out of office, chilling with millions. But not for long, if I can help it. Chief, you remember uh, Vernon Green? This is his son right here. You remember? Buick 5950. 50. Remember that? 59. Buick 59. That's Buick it. 59. 59. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ought to buy you a Buick 59. Yeah. Man, I haven't heard that song since I was a freshman in high school. <laughs> I was hoping that you'd give me some more bottled water. I'm all out. Yes, you can have some more bottled water, but you know they just replaced the pipes. OK. Have I got a lot to share with you, Chief? Now that we have a new governor and a new attorney general, don't you know that you're trying to indict our mayor? Oh, yeah. The Honorable Kathy Williams. Oh, yeah, I know all about that. See, first, they poison the water. Then the United States Army and the cops bomb abandoned neighborhoods. And then they lock me up. And now they're coming after Kathy's head. Yep, and that's not all. I'm sorry, but um, with this new AG, uh, you know, they're thinking about reopening up your case. Something to do with some <laughs> evidence that's been discovered. Yeah, you see, they're trying to come at me through pots. They must think I'm ignorant. Potts? That ass-kicking motherfucker that tried to fuck my daughter? Potts? Oh, yeah, that's the one. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's the one. But now he's Lieutenant Potts. Sorry I'm late. Wait, stop. I don't know where those lips have been. <laughs> yes, I do. Really, big sis? Come on now, big sis. Really? That's what I called you about. What? You want to know where my lips been? I heard you were having an affair with the chief's wife. And he's not the chief, no. He's an old broke-down police officer with a felony with a fine-ass wife named Pop. <laughs> don't you mean gold digger? This is election year. I'm trying to secure my seat on city council, and I don't need a scandal from you. Never. Why are you always trying to judge me? I'm grown now. You're not my mother. You're my sister, remember? Your big sister. I helped raise you, remember? Yo, Clyde, you know they finally fixing them lead pipes after years, man? Jane, Jane, you know what? Y'all is killing me with this pipe shit, bro. No, it's the water that's killing your ass. That's what it is. No, it's not the water that's killing us, bro. You know what's killing us? It's what? this liquor. We just got the damn liquor store. Now, that's what's killing us, bro. Man, must I remind you where we at? This is Flint, Michigan, man. We Flintstones. All over the nation know about this contaminated water. From the mayor, the governor, on up. And they ain't do nothing about it. And you insist on drinking this shit, man. You want to do my favor, Mr. Flintstone? What? You drink what the fuck you want to drink, and I'll drink what? <coughs> Oh, yo, brother, you all right? <coughs> See what I'm saying? <coughs> you got, come on, man, we got... I ain't sitting on me, man. I'm good. Oh, man, come bring your ass on there, man. Mm -hmm. Looking good, smelling good. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Yep, looks like we made it right on time. Just in time for what? Performance. For performance? I know you ain't gonna have me at one of your old flame spots. Really? That's why you want to change your hairstyle, too, huh? Huh, for a little saxophone. Yeah, I change my hair color all the time. Calm your little jealous ass down. This is business. This is my ex-business partner. And I guess you forgot who you talked to, right? Rules? Really? You know I don't do places like this. Boy, would you calm down? Relax. 
This is not a social call. No work. Bring me back a red wine. Round of applause for our guest, Xavier. All right, all right, all right. You guys like the jacket? You guys like that? Really, Melvin? So you gonna act like you don't see me? Is this what you're doing? I thought you said it wasn't about me. It was about you. But now I see it was about her and not you or me. And you know what? You blew that. Man, fuck you. Mm. See, you and your hoes. Anyway, it's what I do. Damn. How long we got to filter our water? Mm -hmm. Mr. Hardwell. So glad to see that you came down to help us out. I thank God for your daughter, Chastity. She is a true champion for our community and keeping the awareness out here in the neighborhood about this water crisis still going on here in Flint after four years. Damn. It's been four years already and this shit's still going on. Yep, four years. And the world thinks that this water crisis is over, but it's not. It's definitely not over. Not till them damn lead pipes come up out the ground, especially in our community. You know, the EPA came by my brother's house and made him get out and board it up. He must live over there on Gray Street, where the water lead levels is the highest. Yeah, on Gray Street. Well, anyway, I was always glad for you to be the chief of police here. You no, know, uh, I really appreciate that, Miss Minif. And, uh, well, you can still call me Chief. I mean, if you want to, instead of Mister. <laughs> I, I kind of like Chief better. It took me a lot to get to that rank, so I kind of prefer it. I mean, uh, if and you don't mind, ma'am. <laughs> Not at all, Chief. Not at all. <laughs> Diane, come on, help me go get some more boxes. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? The question is, what are you doing here? You mean to tell me they let you out here already? <laughs> oh, I see you got jokes. But you and I both know that shit ain't funny. Man, what are you talking about? Don't you? touch me. Man, that's the chief of police. Who the fuck is this clown? My head of security. What you should be concerned about is who your girl Poppy is with. But it's not my place to tell. What the hell are you trying to say? Daddy, I think we need to go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. No, I'm going to tell you what's a good idea, Shulk Stack. Not to have this jackass dirty up my badge any more than he already has, because I'm getting it back. Your badge already been dirty. I'm here to clean it up. Let's go, office. Go on, that boy. Hey, y'all, what's up? Y'all, we just getting ready to go out. I know I'm looking good. Y'all ain't got to say it. I already know. Oh, hey, Carl, what's up? Man, when you coming to back to the club? We miss you. Come on, baby. Dad, I can't believe you had us go to the salon so we can change the Sally here again. I'm sorry, baby girl. I just needed a minute to calm down. I know she ain't smoking that shit in my house. Girl, I know you ain't snapping live right now. Yes, I am on live, and you are too. Say what's up. Girl, this basement look a mess. Girl, Girl they stop. They're looking at the basement. Oh they looking at you. Come on, Destiny. What you, why are you? What? I told you. Oh, I told you I don't want to be on no damn cameras. You know what? We should try doing this in some mud or some jello. Girl, we can make a gang of money. <laughs> you know that's a white girl thing, right? Girl, please. Let me just blunt. Oh, shit, girl. 
<laughs> Kiki, I know you're not smoking that stuff in my house. I haven't seen you in a few years, and this is my reintroduction to you? I am so sorry, Mr. Hartwell. Look, I forgot you was even staying here. Man, I feel so bad about you getting locked up and losing your job and everything. Girl, this is my house. He's just here temporary. You can smoke as much as you want. I'm straight. I am not about to be disrespecting your father like that. You can have that. Is Poppy home yet? <laughs> you know, my wife. He must be talking to you, Kiki, because I don't hear nothing. Especially if you're talking about that hoe we call his wife. Better watch your damn Go ahead! So I can call the police and they lock you back up again! <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. You know, next time you want to call somebody a hoe, you better stop and look in the mirror. Remember, you're the one who is the stripper. That doesn't make me a hoe, Daddy. That makes me the breadwinner. Girl, I cannot believe your father actually caught us smoking. Girl, please, I told you, my grandmother gave this house to me in chastity. I can do whatever the hell I want up in here. Forget that old sugar daddy wannabe. And we both know his wife Poppy's out here fucking some younger dudes anyway. Girl, let me tell you something. I wish I had a father who cared enough to even want to be in my life. My father act like my mother made me by her damn self. Mr. Hartwell, he done been here for y'all through everything, the good, the bad, to love you, and to discipline you. Trust me. Y'all miss what you got until it's gone. Yep, that's what I tell her all the time. Why'd you be the loudest one crying at dad's funeral? Girl. Now, Chastity, I know you really don't believe that. Because I wouldn't give a damn. <laughs> Come on, girl, let's get out of here before we late for work. Yeah. So, Chastity, I heard about what happened at your job and what Tarek's horny ass tried to do. Try to warn you about him, girl. He got a lot of half-breed babies running around Flint. Yeah, he did try to warn me. But it's cool, because I talked to my boss, and I got you a job in Detroit at the club with us. Yeah, no, I'm good on that. <laughs> nah, my mom and dad told me my body is a temple, so only my husband would cherish it. I'm sorry, that's it. OK, I mean, my body is a temple, too. And if the price is right, it could be on his temple. That's all I'm saying. Kiki, you, like, really need Jesus, seriously. Girl, relax. Look, I got you a job in the front as a hostess, you know, fully dressed. So you can go ahead and get out that little volunteer outfit and get cute. The girls think you cute, they'll throw you some of their tip money. And I know with all that college debt you got, you need this money. See, no, I was on a full basketball scholarship, so I don't have any student loans, no college debt. Just a lot of credit card debt, though. OK, so there you go. Let's go. All right, all right let's do it. Girl, I cannot believe that I got you a job at the club tonight with me. Yeah, I can't either. You know what? You got to have, like, hella credit card bills or something. For me to have Little Miss Penn State graduate, Miss, I'm never working at a strip club, and you here with me tonight? Oh, yeah, you must need this cash. Yes, Gigi, I do, all right? Yeah, I do. Well, I hope Destiny show up, because I'm going to need her to see her little sister get this money tonight. <laughs> Whatever, girl, all right? I'm only here to be a hostess or a shot girl. Just remember that. Yeah, OK, I got you. Wait, so, like, all these people are here to see to see girls? Uh, yes. Naked girl. Now, come on. Stepping out tonight, I'm about to get it started. Headed to the club, looking for the party. I got a pocket full of money. With Where are you going? I, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry, I can't. All right, I changed my mind. I can't work in no strip club. Can you just tell Destiny that I had to go? Thanks for thinking about me, but I think I'm gonna just take like an Uber or Lyft or something back home. You know how stupid you sound. You gonna take an Uber from Detroit to Flint. That's about to be at least $100. Look, I'm tired of you acting like you better than me and everybody else. It's not like that, Kiki. I just can't work in a place where I have to sit here and what, watch girls take off all their clothes and then grind their bodies on guys and bikes for money? 
Especially not you or Destiny. Look, I keep saying it, but I think I think you're better than this. My dad has connections at Mott's College and Gettery University. You just go to school and, and, and try something, I don't know, do something better. Look, Chastity, school is not for everybody. And I'm about my money. What I do know is, God blessed me with some nice titties and a fat ass. So I'm already doing better, you understand? Your stuck up ass. At least I didn't waste four years of my life chasing some weak ass hoop dream. And look at you now. Back in Michigan, no money and no job. You got the nerve to be judging me. Girl, you better wake up. This ain't Penn State. This is the real world. Forget you, Kiki. I can't believe that you even say those things about me and then to me. I thought we were family. Look, Chastity, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say all of those things. I'm sorry. Really? We're good. I'm sorry. I'm leaving. We're good. So I'm looking at my app, say we going to Flint. Oh, okay. Well, look, it's gonna be a long ride. Is there anything in particular you want to hear on the radio? Hmm. Well, I'm Isaiah, and yours is Chassie. <laughs> Did I pronounce that right? It's a beautiful name. El Pops must have named you that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. She speak. <clears throat> For a minute, you had me nervous. Started to think you was mute or something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you're fine as hell. Like, gorgeous, you know? You must work at that club I picked you up from. You gotta be new. Shit, I ain't never seen you before. So what, you like a frequent customer there or something? I'm sorry. That is none of my business. I'm just going through a, a lot of emotions right now. And no, I'm not a stripper, okay? I'm a basketball player mm. who should have been drafted by the WNBA, but I tore my ACL, and now no team wants to take a chance on me. So I had to move back to Flint with my sister and with my dad. Damn. Can you just, can you just take me downtown? I don't fly right into Floyd tonight. What, like downtown Detroit? Yeah, I have Hold a... Hold on. Not Flint. I have a cousin that lives at the Riverfront Apartments. Mm. Damn, she crying? <sighs> you okay? We'll pull up. Takes you back yet? Oh, man. I forgot to tell you. When you mentioned basketball earlier, my cousin Jamie Burton, yeah, she over there in Turkey getting that bread. I could try to plug you in with her, reach out or something. Wait, so your cousin is Jamie Burton? Yeah. <laughs> no, like, she's a beast. She could really ball. Yeah, she can ball. But could you ball, though? Boy, please, all right? There's nothing I love more than that. Playing ball is my life. Yeah, okay. We'll see. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but look, I, I do want to say thank you for bringing me to get something to eat. Real sorry about earlier, and a little embarrassed that you have to pull over. But I am grateful. So, um, how many of your riders do you take to get something to eat? You the first. But I had people telling me they wanted to kill themselves. 
I even had a couple trying to have sex in my back seat. No, like, seriously. Yeah. It was probably white, weren't they? <laughs> you already know that. <laughs> but look, like I said earlier, you ain't got nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean, it was my last ride for the night. And plus, <laughs> you fine as hell. I wouldn't mind driving you around for free. I'll take you back all the way to Flint. No strings attached. Thank you. That was, that was really sweet. And, um, you, you're a little cute. <laughs> <laughs> but we both know there's always strings attached. Oh, wait, hold on. This may be my cousin text me now. Uh, she said, she said yes, I can stay with her, so I don't need to go back to Flint tonight. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, I mean, since we already downtown, how about I give you a little quick tour of the D, then take you to your cousin apartments? Okay. Sure. Okay, bet. Cool. It ain't cold, it's Canada. The Canada right there. Freezing. Duh. I'm from Flint, Michigan, not Flint, West Virginia. Flint, West Virginia? What? Yes, that's a real city. Well, look, with all this water in Michigan, ain't no way we supposed to have water problems. Well, yeah. Michigan has over 11,000 lakes, and we're, like, ranked number one for the most freshwater coastline over any other state in the U.S. Oh, really? So I finally got that water crisis. Man, that shit ridiculous. I, yeah, I know. But that's why you drop me off tomorrow. Uh -huh. Point. You can help me pass out bottled water at the Water Foundation. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, Whoa. I, I, I'm kidding. A unless you're thinking about doing it. So tomorrow, I pose to take you all the way out there to Flint and volunteer for free? Please. We could really use your help as a water foundation. You know what? You lucky you're cute. You got a beautiful smile. But I'm gonna go ahead and take you over to your cousin's apartments before you have me quit my job or some shit moving out there to Flint. So, all right. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, girl, my God. How are you? What are you doing down? Do not have my police chief uncle busting my door down from that cutie I just seen you outside with. Come on, have a seat. It is not like that. Okay. Because I need a really long story. I don't feel like talking about it right now. Oh, I'm no super problem. tired. But thanks for letting me come over, though. Anything for my basketball star little cousin. You want some wine? Mm, yeah, I'll take like a little bit. Okay. I don't need his little broke ass anyway. Then I'm taking my damn angels with me. Girl, y'all was making fun of your Ooh. good style. Thought somebody robbing your ass. Uh, Why are you packing it? Where in the hell are you going? Give me that. Well, damn, Poppy. You could at least wait to see if I was going to say, yes, Poppy, you can have a hit. And not just snatch my shit out of my mouth like that. I already had a hard day at work today. Had to do double shift makeup from your silly ass husband. Quit that new job I got for his ass today. You already know Daniel think he is too good to be a security guard like your ass. Ain't that a bitch? Girl, give me my shit. So what that's supposed to mean? His ass too good to be a security guard? Yeah, when he was with me. 
But now I'm leaving your broke-ass brother, so a security guard job is probably all that he can get. Leaving? Wait a minute, puppy. Have a seat for a minute. Wait one second. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> you mean to tell me you moved in here from that house that my brother bought you? I didn't move. I was evicted. Well, whatever. You moved in here with me and my nieces after you lost that expensive-ass car. You mean after they repo that expensive-ass car because your brother went to jail and couldn't pay for the payments? Exactly, sis. That's my point. You don't kick a man when he's down. Okay. That's what, it, that's what it needs you the most. Let me get you some water. <coughs> Where's all the bottle water? I'm all right. We got the bottle waters already? Here. It's probably what's wrong with your ass, drinking that damn poison. Damn. That weed got me coughing up some shit. <coughs> if it's weed, Clyde, then how come I ain't coughing? trying to get in touch with you. It's probably that Uber Lyft driver guy you was up talking about all night. No, it's not. <laughs> nah. But listen, I made some coffee because I knew you couldn't handle that wine I gave you last night, so. You already knew I wasn't a drinker. I got missed calls from my father and from Poppy. Wait, what? Poppy? Girl, I thought she would have been left him when he got locked up. Wait, I had a couple missed messages from Destiny, too. Hmm. How is Destiny? I still cannot believe she is a stripper. I know she only did that to piss my Uncle Daniel off. Wait, wait, hold on one second. Hello, Dad. Hey, what's going on? Chastity. What? Which uncle? What's going on? My baby brother is dead. What? What's wrong? Hello? Oh, Hello? Hi. Uncle Daniel, what's going on? What's wrong with Uncle Clyde? What do you mean? Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. Oh. One possible aspect of the crisis caused a dozen people to die by contracting Legionnaire's disease. My baby brother's dead, puppy. I know. Just like that. Dead. I know. I was just talking to him, and then all of a sudden, boom. His heart just stopped, just like that. I'm so sorry. 
I'm not talking to you. Where's my uncle? He, he had a heart attack. He's dead. No. You're lying. Just like you did with Mom. Oh, what's wrong? I'm sorry, I just, I just found out my uncle just died, so I, I'm not really feeling, feeling well right now. Damn. is dead. I can't believe all this is happening to me. I feel like my whole world is turned upside down. Hey, Chastity. Hey, Chastity. I think we made it. Thank you. A hundred dollars? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's for yesterday and today. I ain't even turned the app on. I'm good. I said, please, can you just take it? I really don't like feeling like I owe anybody. You don't owe me. I like you. I would like to call you. Yeah. OK. Thank you. Dad, can you please tell me that I'm having a bad dream right now? I know, I, I know, I know, Chastity. That's how I feel right now. I lose my dream job, then I get thrown in jail, and now my only brother dies right in front of my eyes. But, Chastity, something Mrs. Menifee said. I think Clyde may have had lead and copper poisoning from that damn bad Flint River water. What? You know, I got to get back to that hospital and demand an autopsy. Uh, OK, well, let's let's go. Let's let's go. Figure it out. Wait, Poppy, where, where are you going? Hey, I'm so sorry. Mm. I know how much you love that crazy ass man, but I can't stay. I'm leaving. Let her go. That figures. When the going gets tough, the weak hoes fly. I told you, Chastity, we should have never let this bitch move in our grandmama house when daddy got locked up. OK, we both know this is not the time for you to be acting a fool. Watch it, bitch. You ain't but five years older than me, and you never would or could take my mama's place with your gold-digging ass. Why don't you go on back to your old police dispatch job and find you another fool to marry? Oh, I forgot you already have. Oh, Officer Potts chasing ass. Yeah, uh, actually, it's know. Lieutenant Potts now, so you know. Oh, wait a minute. How do you know? Yeah, you thought I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, but I know you do know. I wonder how you do know. Oh, you don't huh? want to know. Oh, listen, but I, know. I don't have time to listen to this shit right now. I gotta go back to the hospital demand an autopsy. Now look here, I gotta go change my shirt and put on my coat. Let's go. Isaiah, Isaiah. 
Isaiah, Isaiah. Cassidy, I was hoping I'd get to see you before I leave. Can you take me and my father to the hospital, please? Only if you don't try to pay me. What kind of Uber driver drives for free? Unless he likes me. As long as your sister's ways ain't rubbing off on you. No, Dad. Look like it's about to start raining. Turn there, turn there. This must be your first time in Flint. Yes, sir. Flint didn't always look like this, all torn up. We had the largest automobile plant of General Motors. It was called Buick City. I seen that documentary by Michael Moore about the GM plants in Flint. Yeah, at one point it employed 75,000 people. <laughs> it's hard to believe now. Yeah, that was back in the 60s and 70s. Hmm. <sighs> up in Flint. It was popping then, baby. We had it all and didn't even know it. Man. Dad, I want, I want us to go in with you. Chastity. Yo, Pop's right. Uber drivers ain't got that much patience, and I can use the company. <laughs> Whatever. Last night, I got home and I Googled your ass. <laughs> you ain't tell me you was a baller at Penn State. <laughs> I was impressed. See me though? I was a high school baller myself. Started point guard with a lot of potential. So let me see what you got. Come on. Really, Isaiah? I would hate to hurt your feelings and embarrass your ass on the court. Look, don't be chicken. How about you come out here and let me see what you got? All right, you might be right. I know a court down the street. We can go there. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. What's this? Oh, uh, this is the Water Crisis Foundation that I wanted you to volunteer with me at. Sorry. They just happen to have a gym for me to bust that ass at. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Let's see what you got, then. Oh, all right, let's go. Hey. Oh, 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 where y'all think y'all going? Gym's closed. Really, Carl? I come in every week. You're not gonna let me in? <laughs> you lucky I know your father. He used to be my chief. Come on in. Hey, Isaiah. Yeah, what's up? Let me see what you got. Let's go, then. No, nah, I ain't gonna play with you. Damn, I think I'm in love. WNBA most definitely should have drafted your ass. Uh, let's go. I can hear my dad now tripping, wondering where it went. Yeah, you're right. I can't believe they left me. I told him I'd be right back. Who trapped you off? Yeah, Chastity and her. Uber driver friend. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna miss your crazy ass uncle. He was always cracking jokes, smoking the best weed with us, man. Yeah. Good. He was a handful, wasn't he? <laughs> really gonna miss him. I think it was all that damn faucet water he was drinking. For some reason, he didn't think the water was poison. Yeah, because that definitely wasn't that weed cough he started having. He probably had lead and copper particles all in his lungs. Right. I don't even know. Right. I heard my dad talking about getting the autopsy done to see why he really died. Mm. That's good. Look, um, I don't think I'm going to be going to work tonight. Oh, I was going to say the same thing. I mean, you got to mourn. Be with your family, you know? Oh, I remember what I was going to tell you. What? Isaiah was with my sister last night. 
He brought her all the way from the D this morning. <laughs> so that was him. Wait, you saw him? Yes. When I was pulling up, he was pulling off with your dad and Chastity. <sighs> Did you tell Chastity about him? No, ain't nothing to talk about. I think he's like an Uber or Lyft driver or something. Okay, but what if she likes him? I mean, he is fine. Yeah, and you should know. Come on now, as fine as he is, everybody in that club that has some of Isaiah Smith, girl. I guess I better tell her about all of us smashing him then, huh? <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? Like, you're making it sound so nasty. It was when it was me, you, and him. I let him do anything to me. I was, like, drunk or high off Somali or something that night. Oh, I remember <laughs> Zeke the Freak. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, Daniel, you know what? You might as well come on and ride with me so I can tell you about how the state of Michigan is constantly screwing the residents of Flint. All right. Oh, here they come now. Sorry for being late, Dad. Had to kick Isaiah's butt real quick on the court, you know? Hello, Chastity. What's up, you? What are you doing here? I work here. This is my full-time job. I am the hospital administrator, and I'm gonna help your father to get an autopsy for his brother. Hello. Hi, young man. Are you gonna come down to the center and volunteer? Because we sure could use the help. Uh, he lives in Detroit. So, sorry for the lateness, sir. We lost track of time. Yeah, I bet you did. Getting sweaty with my daughter on the basketball court. Stop it, Daniel. 22 now. Stop <laughs> But you will always be my baby girl. Look here, I'm gonna ride with Miss Menifee. She's gonna give me some more knowledge about this poison water that's still flowing here in Flint. So I'll see you at home later, baby girl. All right, see you at home. I thought you said he was married. He is, but his wife left him today. Today? Shit. Don't you know he just lost a brother? She knows. That's cold. It's ice, right? Yeah, it is. But you think you can take me home? I really want you to meet my sister. Uh, nah, not today. I gotta get back to Detroit. Really? Please, yeah. can you, please, can you just, can you just take me home? You, you around the corner or something? Like, I could probably make it quick. Like, drop you off, man. I gotta get to Detroit quick. Got something going on. Oh, okay. All right, thanks. Okay. I'll hop on the freeway. All right, come on. Bend over. Bend. All right, bend your legs a little bit and get low. How low, girl? Right there. Okay, now shake. Shake your butt. Wait, not loosen up a little bit. Bend, get low. There you go. Oh, my <laughs> Look, a little bit. Is this the move you be doing? Not, not quite, but you. Okay, stop, stop. Girl, I can't wait. Hell no. Really? Hey, Kiki. Hey, Destiny. I uh, want to introduce y'all to my new friend, Isaiah. Keep running. Yeah, he's cute. He real cute. I'm sorry, your name is what again? Z. Sorry. She said his name was Z. You know, short for Isaiah. Right. Chastity, I ain't about to play these games with you. I already know Kiki and Destiny from the club. It's OK, and? Well, man. Well, Chastity, me and Kiki slept around with Zeke. Quite a few times, mm. if you really want to know the truth. Yeah, slept around with him. Like, you, you we had sex. Mm. It was a one night stand. <laughs> but, you know, she get out of control. Hold on, really, Isaiah? A one night stand? Let me step into this light, because you must don't know who I am. Because from what I remember, you and I was more like a two, three, maybe even a four night type thing. Look, look, Chastity. Chastity. I care about you. That was a long time ago. Not recent. OK, but you knew, though, right? So is that why you don't want to meet my sister? Because you already had slept with her and Kiki. Girl, at the same damn time. Or not at the same time. Shut up, Kiki. Look. Can't you see she's hurt? Look, I didn't know until early when I first dropped you off and seen Destiny. Yeah, dumbass, and I told you not nothing about it because I wasn't going to. Especially with all the shit we already got going on. We don't need you adding to it. Uh, Isaiah, I think you should go. Look, look, Chastity, 
Well, we got it special. You just gonna get that up? Are you serious? You're for real. You already slept with my sister and and Kiki a, f a few times. So then, like, I'm gonna be what a notch on the belt? No, it, ain't no, no, it ain't nothing like I, that. I said you you can go. Well, look, come here, baby. Don't I said be... you you can go. Chastity. Come on now. You can. Why are you still here? Why are you still here? You really want me to leave? Yeah, what did I say? Hey, 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 what's going on here? Uh oh, hey, Hank. How you been, cousin? <laughs> Not too good. I'm sorry to hear about your brother. I just can't believe this shit, man. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't just stay in the car and let me get my shit myself. Let me ask you, Daniel, to celebrate the life of your brother Clyde and have a shot with us, OK? I don't need him going down to the department starting some bullshit-ass scandal, all right? How you doing, Chief? I know you. I've arrested you a few times, right? Only once. That's when my wife had too much to drink and put her hands on me. So why'd they arrest you? If she put her hands on you. Right. Let me just go address the gorilla in the room. Yeah, and when that gorilla bites your head off, you're gonna realize how stupid you were for rattling this cage. It's the elephant in the room, fool. You it's a bad idea. Who gives a fuck? What you just wanna gloat? You wanna see whose dick is no. bigger? Cause it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Hey. One more toast to my beloved brother, Clyde Hartwell, my baby brother, my only brother. I ask for your forgiveness for not being the big brother you needed and deserved, especially since you didn't have the father in your life like I did. Please forgive me, and may God grant you those wings that you may soar. And one more apology to all of you and all the people of Flint for, for me being an asshole and not standing up for my brethren in your time of need, for being selfish and representing only the government and not the government of the people, by the people, and for the people. But I can promise you this right now. When I get my job back, there are going to be some heavy changes. Amen. 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 <laughs> you give it. Ooh, bitch. What the Danny. Oh, man. Hello, Danny. Can we talk alone? Wait a minute. Don't get your job back. Wait a minute. <laughs> I know I'm dreaming. I know you ain't in my house right now calling me Donnie. Daddy, what the hell is it? Donnie or Danny? I don't call my own name. <laughs> you have to man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, look. Listen, uh, I'm gonna wait up front. So what we have to talk about is important. Oh, yeah. It's your fault we got all our sales and headphones taken in the first place. If you would have not disrespected Mr. Casey by trying to be a rap star, we would all still have our stuff right now. Know what I mean? Man, forget what you talking about. Mind your own damn business. I don't care nothing about you being an All-American football player, All-American <laughs> I'm the man at this school, so you need to chill with all that. I'm not gonna shoot down to your level. What you doing? It's my favorite movie. Man, forget all that. Hey, you remember that girl I told you about named Chastity? What now? Last night I went up there to Flint. Tell me why one of the girls is her sister and the other one is her best friend. Wait, so you had sex with her sister and her friend? Man, she got so mad she hit me, cussed me out, threw me out the crib in front of her sister and that hoe Kiki. <sighs> you gotta understand, she's hurting. Man, she act like I did something to her. I slept with her sister and her friend before I even knew Chastity. She act like I cheated or something. You cheated her out of something special. 
It was her sister. Man, I mean, I know, I know. But she, I didn't even know I was gonna like her like this. After finding out what Isaiah did with my sister, and not to mention Kiki, I decided to focus on getting myself back in shape. Yo, you remember my cousin that played overseas? I told her about you. Thing that tripped me out was, she remember you when she played for UConn versus Penn State when you were just a freshman. She said she'd most definitely look out for you and find you a team overseas that'll play you. So, I'm thinking you should go ahead and give them a call as soon as possible. I mean, they even fly you into Spain for free. All you need is a passport. Really? Yeah. I told you I didn't want nothing to do with you. This, this, this has been over. It's over. Chastity. This ain't about me and you. You know, Isaiah's right. It's not about him. It's about me never giving up on my dreams. What are you doing? What's wrong with you, girl? What's wrong with you? I love you, Daddy. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Daddy. I, I can't love you, too. I love you, too, baby girl. I love Daddy loves you. I, 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 just, I was just coming with my gun. I'm not, I'm not going in time, anywhere anytime soon. Look here, baby. Look at me. Look here. I've been a police officer 
all my adult life. You see, that badge and that gun gives you a psychological something. It, 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 it gives you, it makes you have a license to be who you don't want to be. You understand? It makes you suppress your feelings. I loved your mama since I first saw her. It was my heartbeat. See, now you and your sister are my rhythm of my life. Baby, if you give me another chance, I will do everything I can to make it work. Let me start all over again, okay? And I'd be damned if we can't make it work, okay? 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 <laughs> Please forgive me, baby, okay? Jasmine McBride was diagnosed with Legionnaire's disease. She was one of the 90 people sickened in 2014 from the Flint water. As the water crisis continues into 2020, its sixth year, nothing has significantly changed. Officially, 12 people have died. The death toll from contaminated water may be much higher than acknowledged. No state and or local officials served time in jail for their crimes related to the Flint crisis. Many blame Rick Snyder, the former governor of Michigan, for their deaths. Jasmine was only 30 years old when she passed away in the Michigan hospital. Now we have coronavirus and dirty water, but we will overcome. We are Flint Stones, Flint Strong. Save me, save me from myself. I'm standing in my own way, waiting for a change, but it seems all out of range. Racism we've been fighting against city of land. 